Hello everybody, it's Jamie and Joel here from Relish Revolution and today we're going to be showing you our combination lock using redstone comparators. So Joel, if you just follow me over here. Sure. Our objective today is to turn on that lovely Christmas tree looking light thing over there. So if okay. you will watch me, I can yep. distinctly remember the code. That's one, two, three. And as you can see, that combination on. there has turned on the light, and no other combination will work. So, Joel, come here. Yep. I just want to show you if I, if I, if I fiddle with this even a little bit. Oh, it's gone. And it's gone, and mm. it's lost, and there's no way. So this is actually a really, really precise combination lock that is actually very foolproof. And basically, the way this works is that depending on the rotation of the item in the item holder, the comparator coming out of the block that the item holder is on will give out a different pulse. And that is the basis for this entire lock. So, Joel, I believe you're teaching me how to build this today? I believe that's the case. Right, well, let's get started. All right, guys. So, to build this, you're um, going to want to start with getting the items, I guess. So, Sounds let's good. go ahead over to our inventory. Um, let's head over to building blocks. You need any solid block. Um, I guess this time let's feel like using just our lovely white bedrock. Sounds good. Cool, cool. Um, you want to head over to decoration blocks after that, um, mm -hmm. and go ahead and get yourself a few item frames. Obviously, the more item frames you have, the more complicated your lock will be. So you can get as many as you want. Um, yeah. now heading over to redstone, Jamie, get yourself, yeah. uh, some redstone, obviously. Obviously. Uh, redstone torch. Yep. Uh, redstone repeater. Yep. And a redstone comparator. Yep, got that. On top of this, you will need some items to put in the item frames, but I'm sure you've got plenty of those. So, let's start. Cool. Um, Jamie, I would like you to put down your solid block just anywhere. Just anywhere, so I'll just put yep. it there. And that would be the first um, sort of code you need to type in. Um, put your item frame on it. Like so. Yep. And behind it, put a comparator. Sweet. Yep. Don't worry about clicking it or anything. Comparator is good as it is. Now, after that, put eight pieces of redstone. Count it very precisely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is related to the maximum pulse of the comparator, right, Joe? Yep. Um, and basically, um, first of all, Jamie, put an item in the comparator, just anything, really. I'll put the redstone torch. Yep, easy to see. Basically, what is about the comparator and um, item frames is that when you right-click on it to rotate the item frame, the redstone pulse actually goes up. So as you can see, the red zone pulse is turning red all the way up to here. And when we get back to zero, it's just black again. So anyway, moving on, Jamie, I would like you to come and choose what... A First of all, just choose what angle over here you would like your code to be. Uh, I'm going to go with straight down. Straight down. All right. Now come over here and find the red zone it goes up to. In this case, it should be four. And then yep. just make a hole at that block next to it. Whoop, is that four? That's where it goes to. Oh, yep. Okay. And now on that, <laughs> sorry, put a, red, right. put a redstone torch right there. Sweet. Should turn off immediately. Now, the thing is, you'll, not, uh, you'll notice if we t rotate it anymore, the redstone torch will still be off. So what we want to do to prevent people from just rotating it to the full is to put a redstone repeater just here. Just next to it? Yep. And then after that, dig a hole just next to the torch and connect them by redstone. Like so. Yep. Like so. Ah, clever. So if it goes past where the torch is, it will loop the redstone back around and keep it turned off anyway. Yep, exactly. Clever. So now we want to get the redstone, just branch it out two blocks past the uh, end of the redstone. From which way? Uh, just from here. Just going over here. Exactly. Excellent. There we go. Now, um, if you want to add more, come on over here, Jamie. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to fast forward this, but Jamie's just going to add another, um, it, the exact design we just made, and we're going to show you how to connect them. All right, guys, so Jamie's kindly made us a, another one of these right next to it. You'll notice it's three blocks away from it, so we've got a little bit of breathing space redstone-wise. What you'll also notice is that this one's a bit closer, so what this means is that the rotation to get this to work will be a bit less. So now to connect them, all you need to do is come to the end, Jamie. Mm-hmm. Just um, connect them basically by redstone, but put a redstone repeater just in the middle. Just in between them? Yep. Cool. And you can make as many of these as you want. You can just go on forever as long as they're connected by these redstone repeaters. But yeah. to end it, all you need to do, or to put it to go to your door or wherever it's going, whatever just you want to activate. Follow this bit over here. Yep. Put a block down. 
Any block. Just any block. Uh, put a redstone torch on it. And obviously you'll notice it's off. It's inverted. Um, yep, it's inverted. And basically, maybe put a door right next to it, I guess. Just like Maybe, I might grab one of these lamps, actually. Actually, yeah. Go get a lamp. So if I whack a lamp put it down. on top of yep. there. So if our goal is to turn on the lamp, Jamie, go ahead and try get the code. Oh, I'll have to guess the code this time. So that has to be... Well, that one's working. Yep. This one is not. There we go. And... Oh, not yet, Jamie. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You've got this one. Um, You've gone too far on this one. Oh, no. Okay. And... One more. And you're perfect. Oh, I nailed it. And okay, we got see, it. He turned on whatever he was trying to turn on. And yeah, that's how this code system works. So it's important to remember that however many of these little digits you add here, so where we have the item frame on the block, the more you add, the more complicated the redstone will be, but the more complex the lock will be, and thus it will be much more difficult to break. So obviously, if you just have one of these, someone could just flick around the redstone torch until it turned on whatever they were trying to do. With two, it's obviously more difficult because I have to guess both at once. And with three, four, five, six, it's going to be much more difficult to crack. So bear that in mind when you're making these. Mm. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this little smart device um, that's just been introduced now that comparators are available. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I guess we'll see you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you next time.